Shout out to Turner Fun for suggesting this video. But he did comment and said, I have an idea for the Denver Broncos stadium. Make the stadium um, have little details to The Shining. So I turn the Denver Broncos stadium in 925 into The Shining Stadium. Or I guess The Shining Hotel in the movie The Shining. That Something like that. So on one side, it says, All work, no play, makes Jack a dull, dull boy. You have Jack in the middle. You have the carpet from the Shining Hotel as the actual field here. You have red rum in both end zones, which, as you know, just spells murder backwards. And we also have these red lines with the white um, th for the actual, like, line markers. I made all the numbers red. And this gets a little insane, guys. Made all the numbers red. Uh, you can see that we do have all the side panels here, the walls, or the uh, wallpaper from The Shining. All the areas over here are covered in blood, which I think is a very good contrast, by the way. So I kept this gray, but I kept, but I wanted to have a nice contrast of like, you know, all blood all over this. And then obviously we have gray right here. Um, I thought it was looked a tad bit, you know, it looked pretty good. We have the Stanley Hotel sign right here. Um, on both sides, it's the Stanley Hotel sign. Going inside this locker room, uh, random parts of the wall just have random blood on them. Uh, the lights in here are just blood red, which, you know, just keeping that creepy factor. Of course, the Broncos have a gigantic locker room, so I was able to kind of take advantage of that and utilize that to my advantage here. Um, which, again, guys, if you have any other suggestions you want to see, definitely tell me down below. And we will go ahead and create them. It is spooky month, so, you know, we're creating some spooky stadiums in Madden 25 here. Uh, and getting a little crazy. But let's go ahead and actually go through this tunnel. Because, again, like I said, there's a lot of this here. So all these areas right here all have this spooky, you know, blood color. So that's the actual color of the um, hotel walls in The Shining, the movie The Shining. Uh, as you can see, well, okay, that was weird. The Jumbotron also has blood on it, and it also has the wallpaper um, on all the Jumbotrons. The areas over here, uh, the little things they have for, like, their championships, they're all covered in blood. Everything, again, like I said, a lot of blood in this stadium. <laughs> Oh, man, it's the randomness of it. I love it. Um, let's go down here. I have the numbers outlined uh, for the scoreboard. Um, and again, like I said before, if you have any creepy ideas for any stadium, just tell me the creepy idea and the stadium you want me to do it with. Uh, so we have Empowered Field, which has the wallpaper design. Um, the outside of the stadium says the Stanley Hotel sign. Uh, we have Empowered at Mile High. Um, oh, out here, we have kind of a combo of the blood slash the combo of the wallpaper from the actual um, hotel. Inside here. Every door is the same color red like elevator door that you see in the movie. So the big thing in the movie is the elevator opens up and stuff gushes out of it. That's what I wanted to do with this. I, so every single door in the stadium kind of has that red tint like an elevator door. Uh, we got the Broncos logo right there. Over here we have a little like a kind of red carpet type design right there. Um, let me get a wide angle shot of this. Yeah, going inside here. You can see it, it got that creepy type atmosphere. Which is what we're going for for the stadium here. Um, all the signs got that creepy atmosphere as well. You got all the areas that would hold up the stadium. Got that on it. Um, as we go through here inside the stadium as well. Again, you know, all the walls covered in it. it, it again, you know, maybe I want a little extra. But, you know, got to honor the movie as much as possible for the stadium here. Um, obviously, if you do not know, the Stanley Hotel in the movie is in Den uh, Denver, Colorado. 
So yeah, we got this right here, which is again the elevator doors, uh, more doors right there, the ticket boots as well, and then inside here. Now outside the stadium, I didn't go too crazy on anything. You know, I kind of just kept it inside the stadium and the actual stadium and stadium grounds. Uh, Could have went a little crazy outside of that. I did add this part, so this like area over here. This obviously is covered in this as well. So again, like I said, I just added a little bit of extra detail on the outside of the stadium, outside of you know the typical stuff here. Um, and I also do really like the vendors. Like the vendors just look so creepy with this, with this shade, especially with the color of the. I turned down the lightness in there, so it's a little bit darker. Um, which again just adds to the atmosphere of the stadium. It adds to the creepiness of the stadium here. Um, where are we at here? Okay, so got another door right there, and yeah. So again, like I said, um, total. I think this only took this stadium actually. I think it only took me like what a day and a half now. So, not too, too bad turnaround time for this stadium. Some of these stadiums do take me like a week or two, depending on the stadium. But this was actually only like a day and a half turnaround. So, I was kind of surprised. But there's a lot of images out there of The Shining and the hotel and everything in little details. So, shout out to the horror community for, you know, posting all that. Because it makes it a lot easier to do stadiums like this. But yeah, so with that being said, we'll also, so we're going to do a horror series this month. Uh, but with that, also, we're going to be, I'm going to be customizing and redesigning a lot of stadiums in Madden 25. So outside of just, you know, this part right here, or this, you know, custom horror mods, I will also be adding in some actual realistic custom mods to the stadiums. So we're going to be adding some crazy things going on. Uh, someone did ask me last video if we could, if like when you do these, can you actually play a little bit on the field and actually show what it looks like when you're playing? So obviously we're walking 10 foot tall players here, but, and also we have no out of bounds because the field is gigantically enormous, but this is what it looks like when you actually play with the field. It's kind of cool. Um, again, yes, it's a little crazy because, you know, there's a lot going on. So you're kind of distracted by the field. And less of actually playing the game. Uh, but let me go to all offense here. There we go. Now, nobody can score. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, I switched to all offense. And here is the dilemma. We're kind of in the bleachers. Yeah. I just realized that might be a little bit of a problem. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get outside the bleed. We're not going to. Okay, so, yeah, we're not going to be able to play any on offense. Um, it's a problem having a gigantic field, endless field, and also you have fans just leaving the stadium. Because, you know, they're not welcome here, technically. I don't know. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.